The vast Umoya Wildlife Reserve lay in the heart of the untamed African wilderness, surrounded by sprawling savannas and dense jungles. The place, with its unparalleled natural beauty and the vast array of majestic creatures, concealed wonders and beauties that wreaked havoc beyond its borders. John and Lovu, a seasoned South African park ranger with his weathered features and eyes gleaming with the wisdom of the wild, had heard the cries of the villagers. The elephants originating from Umoya had embarked on a daring expedition as they ventured out into the surrounding areas, wreaking havoc on the crops and leaving behind a devastating path of destruction. Determined to quell the escalating conflict, John, with unwavering resolve, embarked on his mission as the first rays of sunlight painted the sky in vibrant hues. The year 1998 marked a significant period in history where the untamed wilderness reigned supreme over the vast expanse of land. The Land Rover driven by John rumbled down dusty trails, skillfully weaving through tall grasses that swayed like golden sentinels in the wind. The scent of earth and life permeated the charged air, creating an atmosphere alive with anticipation. In the distance, the calls of birds echoed through the surroundings, their melodic symphony serving as a testament to the grandeur of nature. Approaching the outskirts of the reserve, John beheld a sight that filled him with a mixture of awe and trepidation. The fence, which served as a barrier separating man from nature, was found lying broken and twisted on the ground, resembling a defeated sentinel. Propelled by an inexplicable force, the elephants had clearly breached their sanctuary. John ventured forth with measured steps to inspect the extent of the damage. Crouching down, he carefully studied the snapped wires and torn posts, which stood as a testament to the sheer power possessed by these behemoths. As he found himself lost in thought, a seismic presence suddenly reverberated through the earth, capturing his attention and causing him to snap out of his contemplative state. A colossal elephant emerged from the thicket, its hide weathered countless journeys through the savanna, a matriarch stood before them, her eyes bearing the wisdom of generations. For a brief moment, John and the elephant engaged in a captivating gaze, as if two guardians fiercely protecting their domains. A trumpet of warning shattered the silence. The elephant felt the intrusion as her territory was violated. In an instant, a charge was initiated by her as she became a force of nature propelled by millennia of survival instincts. John's heart raced, his body propelled forward in a sprint towards his Land Rover. Adrenaline surged through his veins, intensifying his every movement. The engine came alive with a thunderous roar, embodying a metallic beast that eagerly responded to the call of its master. The Land Rover surged forward, its powerful engine propelling it with great force and leaving a billowing cloud of dust in its wake. Yet the elephant continued to pursue, displaying an unwavering determination that refused to be swayed by any obstacle in her path. The chase continued to dance on as man and beast engaged in a primal struggle. Just as the hot breath of the elephant brushed against John's back, he swiftly veered, narrowly escaping the wrath of the mighty creature. With their hearts pounding, they found themselves standing at an impasse, where both individuals respected the tenacity displayed by the other. At that moment, they shared a silent understanding as a recognition of the untamed spirit within each of them passed between them. Gathering reinforcements, John returned to the breach in the fence, determined to fix it and ensure the security of the area. Together with their fellow rangers, they labored tirelessly under the scorching sun, diligently repairing the divide that had posed a looming threat of escalating the conflict. He carefully weaved the wires, symbolizing man's resilience in the face of nature's mighty forces. As they secured the last strand, a wave of triumph washed over them. The village beyond the reserve had been secured ensuring it would remain protected from future incursions. With hands marked by the Earth's embrace, John gazes across the vast expanse, fully aware that this moment represents merely one chapter in the eternal dance between man and the untamed wilderness. The Umoya Wildlife Reserve, with its towering presence, stood tall as a testament to the enduring urge of the untamed. Within its expansive boundaries, a sanctuary emerged where the harmonious coexistence of nature and humanity found their rightful place in the intricate tapestry of life. John and Lovu, the South African park ranger, would forever bear witness to the boundless power and beauty that defined his homeland. His homeland's boundless power and beauty would be forever etched in John and Lovu's memory as he fulfilled his South African park ranger duties. Days transformed into weeks 
and the harmonious cadence of life in Umoya resumed its rhythmic flow. The villagers who had once been besieged by fear were now working the land with newfound vigor. They were grateful for the shield that had been forged, as it had provided them with a renewed sense of security and protection. Yet, it was clear to John that the encounter of the elephant held a wonder. The wind shifted, subtly altering the delicate balance of nature. John sensed it as they observed how the animals moved with a heightened awareness, their senses attuned to the subtlest of cues. The whispering of leaves carried by a gentle breeze reached their ears, further confirming their intuition. Even the distant call of predators echoing through the wilderness confirmed their perception. The land teemed with secrets, and he possessed an unwavering determination to unearth them. On one fateful morning, the horizon was adorned with hues of gold and crimson as the sun began to rise. During this picturesque moment, John, filled with a sense of adventure, embarked on an expedition all by himself. Armed with a relentless sense of purpose and an extensive knowledge of the wild, he fearlessly ventured deeper into the heart of Umoya than he had ever dared. The anticipation hung heavy in the air as if it were tangible, causing the forest to come alive with a multitude of hidden wonders. With an innate grace, John moved gracefully as his footsteps were guided by his hand. Navigating through tangled underbrush and skirting the edges of ancient watering holes, he felt the heartbeat of the land beneath his boots. As he ventured further into the wilderness, the signs of the elephant's passage became increasingly evident. Massive footprints were imprinted on the earth, as if a colossal force had left its mark upon the land. Broken branches littered the ground, evidence of a powerful presence that had passed through. In the distance, the echo of rumbling could be heard, a reminder of the immense energy that had recently been unleashed. He could feel himself drawing closer to something profound, a revelation that would resonate through the ages. Suddenly, a hushed silence fell over the forest. The very air held its breath as if anticipating something extraordinary. And then, the elephant emerged once more, making her way through the dappled shadows. John felt the weight of knowledge transcending time as her piercing gaze bore into his eyes. In this instance, any charges or threats were absent. The truth that had eluded him for so long became clear at that moment. The elephants were not marauding invaders. They fulfilled their role as guardians of the untamed landscapes. With newfound reverence, John's body inclined in a graceful bow towards the matriarch, showcasing his deep respect for the ancient alliance that had long endured between man and nature. Turning to leave, he carried a truth that would forever shape his destiny. The encounter that John had spread rapidly among other rangers throughout Umoya, intertwining itself seamlessly into the intricate tapestry of what he did. The message of the elephant echoed through the ages, serving as a constant reminder that threads of destiny inexorably bound together the wild and the civilized. The Umoya Wildlife Reserve stood proudly, serving as a sanctuary for various creatures adorned with fur and feathers. It provided a haven for these magnificent beings and a powerful testament to the steadfast spirit of unity that resonated within its core. In the heart of the untamed African wilderness, the sprawling expanse of the Nkosi Wildlife Reserve lay nestled beneath the golden sun. The gentle breeze was whispered wonders by towering acacia trees, and the rhythms of life were danced in harmony with the savanna grasslands. The haven, hidden away from the chaos of the modern world, cradled a precious beauty. It served as a sanctuary for the endangered giants of the savanna, the African elephants. Alex Mabasso, a seasoned South African park ranger, stood at the forefront of a mission that carries the weight of conservation on its shoulders. His face, weathered and etched with years of wisdom, portrays his experience. He and his dedicated team of rangers, including Lara Zulu and David Mbeki, were entrusted with counting the remaining elephants in the reserve. In 2010, the Nkosi Wildlife Reserve had become a last refuge for these magnificent creatures, whose numbers dwindled yearly due to poaching and habitat loss. He raced against time, undertaking a mission driven by duty and love to safeguard these giants and ensure their freedom for future generations. Alex embarked on their journey with a determined spirit and a sophisticated tracking device. With every step, the dry earth whispered tales of ancient wanderings, urging him to protect the legacy of these great beings. One fateful night, the resonance of the wilderness sang a haunting tune under the cloak of darkness. Unaware of the colossal presence approaching from behind, 
Alex was engrossed in his task. A behemoth drew nearer, eclipsing the moonlight with its colossal form. Its footsteps echoed through the night, thudding rhythmically. Just as the massive elephant loomed over him, Alex's instincts kicked in. He leaped forward with a surge of adrenaline, narrowly evading the impending disaster. He sought refuge in a thicket, his heart pounding, while the rush of air continued to echo in his ears. Curious yet untamed, the colossal beast lingers at the edge of the thicket. Its eyes peered through the dense foliage, resembling deep pools of ancient wisdom. Alex's breath whispered, and his heart drummed rhythmically against his chest. The moment hung in a delicate balance between man and nature as they shared an unspoken understanding that defied language boundaries. After what seemed an eternity, Alex gathered his shaken composure as the elephant turned and melted into the night. He reached for his radio, his voice trembling as he called for assistance. His fellow rangers rushed to his side, their faces etched with concern and relief. In the days that followed, as the sun ascended and set in its eternal dance, the rangers observed a disheartening reality. The number of elephants dwindled day by day, slipping through the fingers of time like sands. The reserve, which was once teeming with life, now bears witness to the echo of their absence. Together they convened in solemn determination, charting a course of action. Their mission evolved. They no longer solely counted, but safeguarded, becoming the guardians of these giants. They fortified the boundaries, set up surveillance, and reached out to the global community for support. The rangers of the Nkosi Wildlife Reserve stood as a beacon of hope, demonstrating unwavering dedication and tireless vigilance. The story of the rangers echoed through the windswept grasslands, inspiring a chorus of voices united in the cause of conservation. In the heart of the Nkosi Wildlife Reserve, the elephants roamed, etching their footprints in the annals of history. They stood as a living testament to the power of human compassion. The rangers had become integral to the landscape as the seasons cycled through their eternal dance. They knew each watering hole, each ancient baobab tree, intimately, like old friends. Their presence wove into the fabric of the reserve, silently promising to protect and cherish the wilderness they called home. With each sunrise, Alex stood on the edge of the savanna, a silent sentinel overlooking the kingdom of the giants. The elephants, once wary, now acknowledge him with a deep, knowing gaze. They recognized him as one of their own, a guardian bound by a shared destiny. Together with other rangers, Alex patrolled the boundaries together, their steps resounding with purpose. The reserve, which was once threatened by shadows of uncertainty, now stood as a testament to the resilience of life. Supporters poured in, expressing a tide of compassion and determination. Funds flowed into the reserve, enabling the rangers to implement state-of-the-art technology for monitoring and protection. Its success demonstrated the power of collective action and the indomitable spirit of those who dared to stand against the tide of extinction. And so a new chapter was written in the heart of the African wilderness, showcasing triumph, coexistence, and the unbreakable bond between man and nature. The elephants of Nkosi roam free, and their numbers grow with each passing season. Alex and the other rangers looked out over the vast expanse, their hearts filled with gratitude. They knew that their work was far from done, and that they had to continue the battle for conservation. Yet at this moment, they basked in the warmth of their achievement. In the end, as the years unfurled their tapestry, the elephants of Nikosi flourished. Their numbers, once on the precipice of despair, now painted a portrait of resilience and triumph. Alex, Lara, and David watched in awe as the giants roamed free, their presence an unforgettable testament to the power of human resolve. The feral urge of the African wilderness had woven a story that transcended time, intertwining with the unwavering dedication of these guardians. It was a tale of hope and unity, and the profound connection between man and nature was being told. Nestled amidst the undulating hills and boundless grasslands of South Africa, the Makwela Reserve cradled its secrets within the ancient embrace of its soil. In the year 1995, a time when the wild was still whispering its mysteries to those who cared to listen, the user reflected on the enchantment that surrounded them. Thabo was a ranger who was known for his exceptional skills and talents. He possessed a unique ability to excel in various areas. Nkosi, a figure who commanded immense respect within the historical records of Makwela, assumed the role of a vigilant protector over the wild and untamed lands. 
His heart was beating in perfect sync with the rhythmic melodies of the vast savanna as every step he took became an unyielding pledge to safeguard its beauty. Isabella Izzy Duplessis, with her determination, stood firmly by his side, serving as a living testament to the remarkable strength that can be achieved through the unbreakable bond of unity when confronted with the formidable trials presented by Mother Nature. Izzy, who possessed quick wit and resourcefulness, had a profound connection with the land that extended as deep as the roots of the ancient Baobabs. The elephant herd stood tall and proud, embodying the very essence of the wild. The weight of centuries was bored by her eyes, and the very heart of Makwela held her soul tethered. One night a noticeable change permeated the air. The cool breeze wrapped around Thabo, caressing his skin and carrying the refreshing scent of earth and vibrant life with it. The night symphony serenaded him as a chorus of crickets and distant calls filled the air. This sanctuary belonged to him, and he considered it his sacred duty. Yet the stillness was interrupted by a subtle shift that caused a tremble. The savanna held its breath, its usually vibrant atmosphere filled with the anticipation of creatures preparing for the night's hunt, their rustling sounds echoing through the air. Thabo's senses sharpened, and he felt every nerve in his body become attuned to the whispers of the wind. The night he was pulsed with a secret, an enigma that had yet to be unveiled. During the charged silence, the earth resonated with a low rumble, resembling the announcement of a distant thunderstorm making its presence known. Thabo's body froze as his muscles coiled with a sense of readiness. A titanic form emerged from the shadows, commanding the night with its silent presence. The elephant stood tall, her immense presence towering over everyone in her vicinity. Thabo locked eyes with her, his gaze instantly recognizing the profound weight of generations they carried. There was no mistaking the message conveyed by the steady regard of the woman. He had trespassed into a territory where he had no rightful place. Thabo's voice crackled through the radio as he addressed Izzy, informing her that he had encountered the elusive individual they had been searching for. Thabo requested assistance. Izzy, her voice laced with concern, responded promptly. Thabo exercised with caution. The huge elephant exhibited a strong sense of protectiveness towards her herd. Thabo was advised to attempt to back away slowly as he was on his way. Thabo nodded, acknowledging that the elephant possessed wisdom beyond human comprehension and would not be easily fooled by his attempt at a feigned retreat. With deliberate precision, a step back was taken by him, all while maintaining the locked gaze without ever breaking it. The tension hung heavily in the air, creating a delicate balance of survival instincts within the individuals present. Thabo's ears picked up the distant sound of Izzy's footsteps, their soft padding reaching him from afar. He felt a surge of relief. Working together, they have the potential to discover a solution that can effectively bridge the vast chasm that exists between the human and elephant species. Thabo's voice resonated with a steady baritone as he assured her they meant no harm. He meant that they were just there to protect this land. Then a pathway formed in the wake of the elephant as she yielded, showcasing a grace that had been honed over millennia. Thabo and Izzy, with a sense of reverence, moved gracefully, their steps carefully measured and executed with utmost deliberation. The eyes of the elephant remained fixed on them, serving as a testament to the intelligence that coursed through the ancient veins of this wise and revered figure. Clearing the immediate vicinity, the elephant's massive form transformed into a striking silhouette against the backdrop of the night. She released a resonant rumble that conveyed both a warning and a hesitant acceptance. Thabo was aware that this encounter, which he was experiencing, would forever etch itself in his memory, serving as a witness to the delicate dance of existence that unfolds in the wild. The years flowed like a mighty river, relentlessly etching their indelible marks upon the ever-changing landscape. Thabo's encounter with the elephant wove itself into the intricate tapestry of Makwela's history, leaving an unforgettable mark on the collective memory of the community. The unspoken language connected all beings in the dance of life was spoken of, as the African sun painted the sky with hues of gold and amethyst each evening, a warm embrace was cast upon a world where man and nature, despite their inherent differences, managed to find a fragile harmony. The encounter between Thabo and the elephant continued to shine brightly, serving as a beacon that showcased the indomitable spirit of the wild and the lasting legacy of those who dared to protect it. As the years went by, they left their mark on Thabo's face, 
etching deeper lines that told the story of his journey. Simultaneously, they bestowed upon Izzy's eyes an ever-growing reservoir of wisdom, each passing day adding another layer to their depths. The elephant, a figure of strength and wisdom, maintained a steadfast vigilance over Makwela, standing as a silent sentinel amidst the ever-changing tides of existence. Every sunset would paint a fresh chapter in their shared narrative, characterized by respect, understanding, and the unbridled beauty that united them all. The encounter with the elephant had transformed into a tale frequently recounted around campfires. The story unfolded as a tale of courage, showcasing the intricate interplay between humanity and nature, and highlighting the indomitable spirit of a land that refused to be subdued. The echoes of that fateful night continued to reverberate, serving as a constant reminder that in the intricate dance of life, each step taken and every heartbeat felt represented a solemn pledge to protect and preserve the invaluable legacy of the wild actively, ensuring its survival for countless generations yet to come.